Juan, uh, Katie brings up Chicago, deadly weekend, Father's Day, horrible tragedy. I, I follow a guy, Sonny McSunny Face. He said something brilliant, which I have to give him credit for. He said this, and you can react to that. He says, the media is very concerned about gun violence, and the media is also very concerned about black victims of violence. But they don't seem to be so concerned with black victims of gun violence. How would you explain that in Chicago? Uh, I'm a little puzzled. I think that people are concerned about victims of gun violence. I think, I'm just trying to make sense of it in my mind, but I think part of it, Jesse, is that what you're seeing is something Dana hinted about, which is that we have all-time lows in terms of crime in the country uh, right now, and we are, especially during the lockdown over the coronavirus, we saw crime even go lower, and now it's summertime, and people, a lot of people are out of work, a lot of people are out of school, uh, people are hitting the streets, so everybody who's been involved with everything from drugs to partying to uh, just getting out of the house, they're out there now, and I think you're going to see, as is normal, by the way, when summer comes, a bump in terms of criminal activity. But in terms of stopping this kind of spreading of fear, I think it's important to understand that historically we are at a low point in terms of crime in this country uh, and that we have to try to keep it that way. So to me, you know, it's, a, it's an important distinction to be made because when people call for police reform, they're not saying, oh, let people go shoot each other. Not at all. I mean, that's, that to me is a huge distortion of the argument. I think what you're really talking about, and I certainly hope you're not employ implying that cops aren't doing their jobs, not upholding their oath, I think that what we're dealing with here not implying you know, that. is that you have people who are not attacking strangers, they're attacking each other, and uh, in the case of the Democrats, they're not for defunding the police, they're for police reform. And so the poll show the American people are for police reform so we can avoid the kind of brutality we saw with George Floyd or the kind of abuse that many black people uh, charge the police with on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. All right, Dan, I'll let you respond to Juan's point. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, Juan does this thing I, I find, and no offense, Juan, it's nothing personal, of course, but I find a lot of liberals do this. As Thomas Sowell once said, they love to start the story in the middle. Juan's like, listen, we're, you know, we're at really low levels of uh, crime historically. Um, yeah, Juan, the first six chapters of the book matter. Um, how we got there is because of aggressive broken windows policing. I don't mean aggressive, by the way, by referring in any way to the horror show on what happened to Mr. Floyd. There's universal agreement um, that was just grotesque to the highest order. But broken windows, aggressive policing, Juan, is why we're where we are right now. So if you're suggesting that that's good, which I think most sane people would, low levels of crime are a good thing, then I assume you're on the five right now supporting broken windows policing, um, which is aggressive policing, you know, stopping people committing uh, criminal activity in the street, checking them for warrants. So I applaud you for doing that. That's, that's really strong. That's a bold move. I don't see a lot of liberals doing that. Way to go, Juan. So glad you could come Jesse, around do I, to our Jesse, side. do I have a sec? Cup? <laughs> Jesse, do I have a Real second quick, to please. respond Real there? Quick. Yeah, sure. Go. Yeah. So, so I was, Dan, I just, you know, I am, by the way, a fan of the 94 crime bill because I think people today, especially in Black Lives Matter, weren't around in the 90s when we had staggeringly high crime rates. But I'm not for yeah. harassing people who have no criminal record. If I'm walking down the street, there's no reason to stop me and no frisk for me that. and demand no, a I'm, warrant. No, I'm not either. I just think that's ridiculous, I'm not Dan. Okay. But that's not right. what broken windows policing is, Juan. That's the guy who jumps the turnstile. They right. stop him and they check him for warrants. They don't let it go. That's really like good okay. policing. That's what got us here. All right. All right. Well, Dan got Juan to agree.